brings us to our top talker. Our senior health correspondent Monica Robbins joins us to answer more questions about the vaccine. Monica, this info has helped so many so already, so we're just going to keep doing it until there's no more questions left. That's our hope. <laughs> Um, Monica, what is the progress? It's never going to end. I know. What is the progress? Because we've heard so much about the vaccines for kids. Are we getting anywhere on that? Well, yeah, currently the Pfizer vaccine is approved for kids 16 and up. The Moderna vaccine is approved for kids 18 and up. Now, Pfizer has enrolled more than 2,212 to 15 year olds for its next clinical trial. Moderna is having a slow start. They're still enrolling kids. Now, it could take a few more months before we have preliminary results. So we're just going to have to wait and see if it will be time for kids to get vaccinated by the next school year. And hopefully by then, everybody will be back in school and no more of this at home learning. Wow, I certainly hope so. What about pregnant women? Sh should they get the vaccine? Should they avoid it? Because a lot of women want to know. Yeah, there is a lot of controversy around this. The CDC says the vaccine should be offered to pregnant women, but stop short of recommending it because there's just so very little research. Now, we do know that pregnant women are at higher risk of developing severe disease if they do get COVID, but whether or not they should get the vaccine during or after pregnancy, well, that's still being studied. And today, the World Health Organization recommended against giving pregnant women the Moderna vaccine unless the woman is at, at high risk, meaning she could be a healthcare worker. This is a subject that women truly need to discuss with their doctors to determine exactly what is best for them. And also, I have an update for all of those of you who do not have internet service and you need to register to get a vaccine. We have an update to our phone list. If you are a university hospital's patient, you can now call 216-844- 3339, that's 216-844-3339. Choose option number two and leave your contact info. Cleveland Clinic patients can call 216-444-2538. If you don't use those systems, you can try calling the United Way's 211 helpline or the Western Reserve Area Agency on Aging at 844-304-0004. And they can help you with registration and in some cases, transportation to your appointment as well. Again, these numbers are only for those who do not have internet access, 75 and up, and everyone else should sign up online. And you can go to our vaccine resource page at wkyc.com for a list of all those locations you might need. And don't worry if you miss these, I will give these numbers out again at six o'clock and we'll talk about medications and the COVID vaccine, what you need to know if you happen to be taking anything else, Jay. Okay, Monica, quickly before we go, a little pop quiz here. We just heard the news that the government has purchased 200, more, 200 million more doses. We know that this is a double dose, so that would take care of another 100 million Americans, correct? Well, yeah, technically, but remember, you're talking 100 million from Moderna and 100 million from Pfizer as well. So, yeah, but regardless, we're still talking 100 million doses. But tomorrow, tomorrow at five and six, I'm going to be talking about the update on our vaccines, where we are, and also what people need to realize about that Pfizer vaccine. We thought we could get five doses. We now know we could get six. But what does that, how does that impact the delivery of the additional vaccines mm. that we're getting? And are those getting counted into the numbers? Okay. So I'll work it all out for you tomorrow. Monica, great information. Thanks as always. Sure.